But yeah, hey, thanks for joining me again. All right, let's walk through some more Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty. And this is the Journey to High Hrothgar video. We're going to go up to High Hrothgar. And, uh, well, this is basically a journey up there. And then we're going to eventually speak to the Greybeards. And then everyone's going to go home and live happily ever after. First things first, I want to dump off some of these uh, enchanted weapons because I'm still not sure if I have enough to carry my enchanted armor that I left out here. I had to drop it just to be able to like lower my carry weight and bring some stuff in after defeating the dragon, getting his dragon bones and dragon scales. So that is that. Tree dark gear, everything's fine. Now, after seeing the Greybeards and getting the Whirlwind Sprint Shout, which is very important, the very first thing I want to do is go down and see Toltir, okay? I've been waiting for this because I'm going to have the Whirlwind Sprint Shout after seeing the Greybeards, and it will allow us to take a shortcut to see Toltir. And when we get with Toltir, um, we're going to be doing some, or rather, buying some alteration skill training, which is going to cost us a pretty penny. So, I want to crank out a whole bunch of power potions to make sure I get enough merchandise to sell back to them. Starting with Blue Mountain Flower, Blue Mountain Flower, Blue Butterfly Wing, and Giant's Tongue. What did I say? Giant's Tongue? Giant's Tongue. Next, Dragon's Tongue. There we go. Uh, Fly Amanita and Mortal Panella. Next, Bear Claws, Candy's Root, and Spider Eggs. There we go. Crank out a few of those. Working from Powerlish... Power Potion list number two in my ebook, okay? A list of 23 Power Potion recipes, valuable potions you can make for resale. Uh, I'm going to show you the ebook at the end of the video if you want to check that out. Next one, Ectoplasm, Glow Dust, and how about a little Hanging Moss? Hanging Moss. Boy, yeah. Try to get a few of those. Next. I think we like to have a little Frost Miriam, Purple Mountain Flower, and Wheat. <laughs> to slack nose potions or what. And I think that about does her. That's give me plenty. Take all those as well as some enchanted weaponry down to see Tolftier. Sell them the enchanted weaponry. Sell them some power potions to defray the cost of purchasing alteration skill training. Right? And I just want to dump all these ingredients back into the cupboard. Down and down. Take back all my battle gear. We will be going into combat on our way up to High Hrothgar. Now, I just want to put myself just a little under my carry weight. I want to bring as many enchanted weapons as I can. Because we're going to be going straight down to see Toltir right afterwards, okay? All we really want to do on the way up to High Hrothgar, High Hrothgar is do a little soul trapping on the predators that we encounter on the way. So, first stop, Iverstead. That's the closest destination to High Hrothgar. We're going to have to ride up two choices. You could speed run up with your horse or you could use your horse travel up and get off along the way and soul trap their predators. Since we're going up there anyways, we might as well hook up the clinic. He makes deliveries up there. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. What type of deliveries to make the high rock cart? Mostly food supply. The Greybeards tend not to gonna get fast out. track through this. Well, it's kind of an We're going to agree to make the My delivery for him. Used to we could do that for you. It. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At there the top go. of the steps, Thank you very much. Show time now. I'll see you in the funny papers. I'm with apologies, but we voted on that. This is the main part of the main quest line, which we've already done. So we voted to fast track the dialogue in that. I, for I forget which video that was, but anyways. Okay, so, gonna gear up. Why continue soul trapping when enchanting is at 100? I will explain that close to the end of the video when we have, when have more time. Gets him. Gets him. And... Gets him. Yeah. Do 
Who's your daddy, Cave Bear? Yeah. I'm gonna be encountering some trolls and some bears and the odd goat. The odd elusive goat on her way up to High Hrothgar. Goats are easy. Petty soul trappings, as you may or may not know from watching this walker. Seems kind of cheap to. <laughs> Use incinerate on a goat, insta kill, blow him away. This one manages manages to get away, get away. Okay, goat, you can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, you got away. Onward, just around this corner, up ahead, you hang right, there's usually another predator. At this level, it's probably going to be a bear. Nope, it's a troll. Hello, Mr. Troll. You're going to give up your everlasting soul. And I'm a boy, I don't know. Bad. Bad troll in the spanking. There we go. Yes, no flame girl. And no follower. I much prefer much prefer going solo in video games. Here's a bear up ahead. Kicking some butt here, boss. And I thoroughly enjoy it. After slugging it out for 28 to 30 levels as a glass cannon, I earned this, okay? I personally <laughs> don't understand how some gamers need to have their ass kicked constantly in order to get enjoyment out of a video game. Not to me. Not to me. I love this stuff. I absolutely love kicking butt. I feel like I earned it. Like I said, I slugged it out for 30 levels as a glass cannon. Did a lot of like fancy smancy business and fancy smancy foraging and you know and crafting and whatnot. I earned this. All right. <laughs> That's the way I see it. Besides, I'm not overpowered. I just did a practice run through the hitting the books quest. Okay, so next quest in the College of uh, Winterhold quest line, I'm going to be taking that on sometime before the end of the week. You're going to be seeing those videos. Okay, I already, already recorded them. And I did a practice run through there and the mages in there kicked my ass. I'm not kidding. Right? So, this is a powerful build, but you got to use it right if you want to survive. Okay, it's by no means, not in my, not in my opinion, it's not overpowered just right <laughs> but like I said I enjoy kicking ass so I'm gonna redeem myself here there we go <laughs> as for the goat that got away tell your friends slack is in the house And I believe that is it. As far as predators, now it's just a matter of riding up to the top. Okay, now I'll talk about why I'm still continuing to soul trap and fill up uh, soul gems for enchanting. It's because, um, oh, there should be one, one more troll around the corner here. Okay, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> right here, yeah. Soul 
it's rapping. Got him. Okay, now. This will probably make me overweight. Geeky says, I ended up dropping the troll fat. Pretty much everything I've got on board is of value, so there's nothing really. All right, yeah. Um, what we're gonna do with enchanting is make it legendary. All right, with patch 1.9, which introduced the legendary difficulty setting, you can also make skills that reach 100 legendary. Now, I find that this has limited applications, but there are certain instances where it can be very useful. For example, right now my enchanting is at 100. Any more enchanting I do will not level up the skill anymore because the skill is maxed out. So that means that any more enchanting I do will not advance my character level progress bar by leveling up the skill, which is a disadvantage. Uh, especially since um, I may have the resources to do a lot more enchanting. So, let's make the skill legendary. And what happens when you make a skill legendary is it just basically resets, resets the skill to level 15, okay? Gives you back all the skill points or all the perk points you spent in that skill and resets the skill to level 15. So now, with the skill at level 15, with enchanting at level 15, if I start doing some enchanting, I can level up enchanting and thereby level up my character level progress bar. So therefore, doing some enchanting will no longer be wasted by you know not accomplishing anything. I can now continue to level up my character level progress bar by doing more enchanting. And you wouldn't believe how fast you can level up enchanting once you've got the banish um, enchant. It's nuts. I mean, you'll see later on. Don't want to tell you any spoilers, but yeah, I really level up enchanting really fast. So it's no biggie setting it back to 15. We're going to get it back up to 100 in no time. All right, I'm, I'm talking like no time. All right, you'll see. Okay, so here we are. We have arrived at High Hrothgar. Stash in Klimic supplies. Take the lazy way up the steps. <laughs> And we're in. I would like to thank you all very much for watching. First, we're going to get dressed for the occasion. There we go, put on our street clothes. Don't want to alarm the gray beards. And we're done. Thanks for watching. And hey, check out my ebook. Hey guys, want to build the kick butt destruction tank mage you see me using in this video? Well, you can get the entire walkthrough in ebook format. Skyrim Legendary Made Easy, the quick and dirty dark elf build. This includes a complete step by step game plan to produce a destruction tank mage made for legendary difficulty gameplay. Also, exclusive bonus content The Alchemist Business Model Power Start How to Become Filthy Rich in Skyrim Using My Special List of Power Potion Recipes. More bonus content So you like to cheat, do you? The Eager Eddie Exploit Build will show you how to use Skyrim exploits to create a ridiculously overpowered conjuration mage in under 3 hours. Fully tested in the latest Skyrim patch. All this in an easy to read, easy to navigate 160 page ebook Skyrim Legendary Made Easy The Quick and Dirty Dark Elf Build. Buy it now for only $9.99. All purchases are processed by the 100% secure world-renowned PayPal payment processor.